Today I'm gonna show you how to install the Google Play Store on your Windows machine. This is gonna work with Windows 10, Windows 11 as well. In my case, I'm gonna use my Windows 10 machine, but again, if you have the Windows 11, just follow along with us. You know, it's gonna be the same process and I'm gonna do this tutorial right on point without bringing in too many discussions about the things that are not related to our main goal today. And uh, with that being said, let's jump right into my Windows machine and uh, we'll go from there let's do this now the first thing that we need to make sure is that we have the virtual platform activated on your windows machine and for that you need to go to the search box right here on your left bottom side below and type in windows features you're gonna see it right here click on that wait until it's populated and now scroll down until you find the virtual machine platform we need to click on this and activate it and now after this your system will ask for a restart and we're gonna click on ok it's gonna activate it's gonna apply the changes and sure enough, it's going to ask for a restart. So I'm going to restart right now and get back to you shortly. And now since I'm back live with you guys, step number two is going to be going to our browser of choice. In my case, it's my Microsoft Edge right here. Doesn't actually matter. And go into the search bar and type in WSA built. And sure enough, the first search is going to be what we need. And now shout out to Master Chef for all this build right here. And uh, let's go scroll down until we find our build right here. And as you can see, obviously, if you have Windows 11, you should pick your version right here. And now in my case, since I have the Windows 10, I will have to pick this one. I'm going to pick the latest stable build right here. And um, I would recommend you to do the same. I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to scroll down here until I'm going to see all these versions right here. And I'm going to choose the removed Amazon store right here because I don't need it. And I'm going to click on it and it's going to start downloading. Now for the next step, you'll have to have some sort of a unarchiver. Any of them work. In my case, I have the 7-zip. So if you don't have it, go ahead and download it. It's called 7-Zip. It's a freeware, so you can go and download it for free. And now we will wait until our download is going to be completed. Now, when we have it completed, since I have the age, I'm just going to click on this icon right here. And it's going to send me exactly where the file was downloaded. And uh, when I'm here, we have to extract the whole files. And I'm going to use the 7 zip right here. And I'm going to say extract here in one new folder. Let's wait for that. Having this extracted right here, double click on the folder and go down until you find the run application right here. Now we double click on this or just right click and open. And now the process is going to take off. We're going to have the PowerShell open and we're going to give permissions and this is going to run everything in background for you. So it's very simple and easy. It's going to do the whole installation, the whole activation automatically. The only thing we need to do right now is wait. And soon we're going to get prompted with uh, some other questions, you know, some other permissions logs and uh, I'll show you what to do. Pretty simple, nothing complicated. So right here, just hit on continue. And as you can see down here below, everything is going on in the background. So let's wait. In my case, I had multiple, as you can see, windows opened. Don't worry about this. Everything is going to work just fine. Just be patient. Okay. As you can see right here, everything is getting installed. This icon is from the Android top system. So everything is going per the plan. Now we're getting all these prompts. It's not going to be the last one. We're still going to have a few.
And now you're gonna see the Play Store installing. And automatically it's gonna open it. And now, voila, we have it installed. What do you need to do next? Obviously you need to sign in with your Google account. And I'm gonna do this real quick. And as a fun fact, the notification that I got on my phone, it says that a Pixel 5 got logged in into my account after I inputted my login and password to this computer. So this is kind of interesting. And now if you did everything right, you should get this message. Everything else is right here and working. So I tried a lot of apps right here and everything seems to work nicely i tried the messaging apps all the social apps and uh, everything works fine tried a few games they work fine as well some of them have some lags but again it depends on what system are you running all this thing but for the most part it works and you're gonna be able to find it by going to the search bar right here and you're gonna see it right here and it's gonna be easy to access and uh, this is pretty much it if you guys encounter any problems or if you have any questions definitely drop them in the comments below I'll try to do my best to help you out and uh, let me know if uh, there's anything else I can test here and we can build a small community here and see how else can we help each other. That's it. Bye everybody.